Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I made amends for everything. All the murders, all the other various crimes, none of those matter anymore, because I went for a brief walk around the countryside, and thus everything is forgiven. The problem we've got, however, is this is not going to last for long. It's only a matter of time until I kill someone the game decides didn't actually deserve it, so, okay, Probably best we do a bit of work with these goody two-shoes knights before I end up being declared evil again. So okay, two more bits of gear that seem to be floating around. So, uh, Sir Casimir, you want to tell me about a pair of gloves, don't ya? When the order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the gauntlets with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. Okay, so this guy went a bit to the dark side and uh, all of a sudden, there are curses involved. A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper and struck him. My blow landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead, killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. I left the chapel at once, of course, but the damage was done. I was weak, constantly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlet slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still, in Coral's chapel. You must prove to Stendar you are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. Perhaps they can help you. Okay, so, head over to Coral, deal with that business there, though. Yes, anything more you can tell me about the curse? It was placed on me for defying the teachings of Stendar in his very chapel. My entire lineage was ruined by this curse. Okay, so when you say lineage, by any chance, is there anyone in Coral who's descended from you who might still carry the curse? I do enjoy, by the way, how I'm putting together this noble order of knights and recruiting new knights and they're all putting on the armor, coming to the priory, getting ready for war, all the rest of it. And if I just step outside, there is an oblivion gate right there. Demons, like inside of the windows, okay? You can see it every time you step outside, so okay. First things first, that there, unacceptable. We are... I was about to say there is one thing that we're going to do before I level up because I'm close to leveling up. But okay, bit late for that now, I suppose. Hang about. I'll be right back to deal with you in a second. Oh dear, that's that's a bit on the underwhelming side. I mean, the willpower's nice and the strength is uh, could be better. But yes, what I was going to say is uh, I need to start working on the old endurance because at this point, that's probably one of the most important stats. I've got going, so I did have a thought about how I might do that. The answer is armor, which I've been ignoring because I didn't want to be leveling up too fast and because the enemies just level up with you, but to be honest, like, I'm routinely running into enemies who are generating grand soul gems anyway, so if I go up to level 22 or 23 a bit faster, does that really matter? I'm not sure it actually does, so... The next few levels, uh, I'm going to be deliberately trying to pick up trash of Raiders I Defeat, purely so I can improve it with repair hammers uh, and then just dump it straight afterwards because, uh, yeah, I just want to get armor up a bit. Especially as, uh, once I get to 50, I can start repairing my own gear. Which right now, I can't, because literally all of it is enchanted. Oh, it's this one. Okay, that one's actually pretty bloody good for me, because I can just... Hop over here, straight around, straight in, and no bloody problem. Oh yeah, on this occasion, in, out, easiest thing in the world, lovely. So just grab myself one ball and let's be on our way. 
Okay, very quick trip in and out. So we have got ourselves. That's Frost. We already had that. Silence, that was that. So it is... Oh, there it is. Okay. Fire damage I could take or leave, but... Element Shield. That's the one I've been waiting for. Okay, whack that straight on the shield because... Uh, yes, if I've understood this right. Fire Shield 25% means uh, I get 25% armor, which is already really bloody good. And on top of that, extra resistance against fire, which some mages do use. So, okay, that is, yeah, pretty bloody solid. Welcome to the rotation, I tried to warm you. Okay, back to Anvil, because yes, I just want to uh, revisit that whole uh, endurance plan I was mentioning a moment ago. And uh, to do that, I've gone and picked up a very useful weapon. Here we go, Thornblade, given to me by the Count of Jadenhall. Oh, and I love it. It's actually unique. It's covered in thorns, meaning, yes, indeed, disintegrate armor. It's like a tiny chainsaw. It's beautiful. And now we just go along the coast looking for anyone dumb enough to come and attack me. So, oh dear. Oh no, against this shield now, you're not doing anything. But more importantly, just get over to you, buddy. I am definitely faster than you, by the way. Oh yeah, let's just start shredding your flipping armor right now. Good few hits right there. That's good enough. Shouldn't need more than that, just yeah. Good few hits there. See how that goes. A lovely finish you off with a much more powerful weapon. Because yeah, the base damage is hardly spectacular on this thing. But that's not the point, of course. The point is, I was expecting, I don't know, maybe down to 50 or something. But those are broken. I have literally taken her armor down to zero. Okay, this sword could be significantly better than I was expecting. Because, uh, yeah, if you go up against someone with, say, I don't know, 30, 40 armor, that's 30, 40 percent damage reduction. If I just swing at them for, like, a few seconds, that gets taken away, shredded for good against, like, a single elite enemy. Okay, we might need to think about a way to keep this weapon in the rotation, because uh, that's pretty bloody special. Still, for the time being, take the stuff that she was wearing. And then crack out the old repair hammers. Can't do this, because yes, that's magical, which is why we need to do it this way. So, start working on all of that. Be flipping beautiful. So, elven boots, looking good. Mithril, looking good as well. Gonna take like 10 attempts to get this up to where it should be. And that's almost an entire point of armor. Armor was right down the bottom when we started this. And that was two pieces. Plenty of people are going to have helmets, greaves, trousers, all the rest of it. And while I'm doing character stuff, yes, don't forget to back to Chajan Hall. Because a brand new level means, yes, another five ranks of restoration. Honestly, that is... What do you mean you can't get me any higher? You were supposed to take me to 75. Speak with Oletta at the Chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. She will be able to train you further. Back to Kavach and here we flipping go. But I'm pretty sure she's going to be chill with me because I've already done the only mission in Kavach. Saving Kavach, getting the, what was it, the Ring of the Count. I have done everything for your town. You have helped to save Kavach, or what is left of it. For that, I can do nothing less than help you spread healing throughout Cyrodiil. I shall offer you whatever skill I have. And there we flipping go. A long cocking last. Get it done. I will pay anything. Just move me in the right direction. Knowledge. There we go. That's knowledge all we can do this level. Brilliant. Oh, there it is. Just a single point away from 75. And then, oh, the fortify spells are going to go bananas. Okay, all that taken care of. Here we flipping go. Bang to Coral. Let's go find ourselves a mysteriously heavy set of gauntlets. Here we go, right at the end. And I'm going to assume these were always here. I just kind of didn't notice them previously. So, uh, yes, indeed. Even though I'm wearing Lydia right now, regardless, I can't move them. Let's chat to the locals. Maybe they know something about this. Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago. A knight of the old order did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, 
and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this night by Stendard, I think. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. And there we go. This lad's descendant, who's still suffering from the curse. Brilliant. Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very night from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but, ah, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. Okay, we've got ourselves a lead. Okay, Kellen's actually downstairs in the church itself, but... In his room, there is a book on the Knights of the Nine, which I've just been reading, and uh, yes, there's actually something rather interesting here. So a bloody long time ago, there was a war that caused, yes, the Knights to leave and join it. Some of them even ended up potentially on opposite sides, but Sir Beric was the first to leave, and he took with him the Sword and Greaves of the Crusader. That's why I've not been asked to find those, because uh, these Knights, they don't have them. Some of the staff was taken by some guy who split apart from the Order and went to join the other side. So I'm guessing bad blood to this day. Okay, so we're going to have to be tracking down Sir Beric at some point. But in the meantime, Kellen, why don't you tell me about your lovely... Good evening. I think he's supposed to be yawning. Brilliant yawning animation. Top marks. Okay, so buddy, 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 buddy. Let's talk about the curse. Ah. Heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad. But it's only gotten worse over time. I'd come here, to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. A elder has let me stay. Mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. Okay, so I'm guessing from the, uh, yes, delivery of those lines uh, together with uh, your yawning, this curse slowly makes you more and more exhausted uh, till eventually you just go to sleep and don't wake up, I suppose. Right, nothing much else from him, but once again, we've got another step in the chain. Arelda might know something if I just talk him round a bit. Ah, yes, don't need to worry about disposition. I sorted out the gate outside Coral. Everybody already loves me. So, okay, buddy. In which case, spill the beans. What's the deal with Callum? I... I cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly, I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. Ah, by any chance is this one of those curse dealies where the only way to shift it is for it to move up from one person to another? Because if so, right, don't worry, I'll take care of it, no trouble, buddy. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar, pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Oh yes, 100%, let's flip it go. So take the curse on myself, figure out how to get rid of it, and then pick up the gauntlets, though... Okay, just a second ago, Kellen said he couldn't pick up the gauntlet. So, uh, let's just get myself cursed. We'll work from there. It's going to be great. So, over to the altar. There we go. I want to lift Kellen's curse, please. Uh, job flipping done. So, lay hands uh, has been added. A brand new spell. Brilliant. Hilariously, there's no option to talk to him about the fact I know the cure for his disease. Instead, uh, okay, buddy. Here you go, marvellous. So, I have lifted the curse, but unfortunately, now I've got it. So, my fatigue has been affected. Oh, that does not matter in the slightest. 
Oh my goodness, and there goes Kellen, straight away, off for a jog, laughing into the distance. Okay, you know what? I don't care that I've just given up some fatigue or something. He seems to be having a lovely time. Good for you, buddy. So, okay, let's see if this works, and... Okay, apparently I can um, just pick them up now, though... Yeah, seriously, I don't actually know why. Oh, yeah, and the high-level variants are much, much better in terms of... Uh, Restoration, like almost 10 points fortification. That is not bad at all. What business do I have acting as a priest if I'm not willing to do all I can in helping those who need it? Perhaps I need to rethink my calling. Okay, I may have also just caused this priest to have a crisis of everything, give or take. He just walks straight out of the chapel and appears to just be off to do his own thing now. So good luck with whatever it is you're doing next then, I suppose. Okay, hang on. He's not just left the chapel. He's leaving Coral, Good so... You. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna follow this guy and see where the cock he decides to go next, because I have no idea what his plan is now. Okay, he's made it down the road from Coral, needed to protect him from, you know, the odd sprig and bandst, etc. Though I will say, I'm pretty sure he tossed in some lightning at one point, so uh, the lad is not defenseless. So uh, he's reached the lake, but now, uh, yeah... Here we go. This is where things get complicated, because... Okay, that is not the direction I was expecting. Are you seriously going down towards, like, Kavach and Anvil and whatnot? Okay, way around the corner, this is the next junction, and... Uh, Alright, he is actually turning off towards uh, Skingrad, uh, Kavach, or Anvil. So, uh, he's going to one of them. Ah, gosh darn it, we've lost him. I got, yeah, almost to skin grad, but unfortunately, an Oblivion Gate spawned right next to the road. I don't know precisely what happened to him, but I've checked, yeah, up the road, down the road, he's gone. I'm pretty sure his corpse is somewhere in the grass because he insisted on getting involved. So, you know what? I'm going to say that's a happy ending for him. He walked out of his church desperately trying to find uh, some new thing to do with his life. And uh, what happened? Uh, he ran straight into the Oblivion Crisis and gave his life so that the people of Skingrad uh, could live in peace. Rest in peace. Arundel? Arudal? I'm going to be honest, I can't remember your name, which does undermine your sacrifice in some ways. Uh, the fact that I can't actually tell... Uh, anyone about it because I didn't know who you were but you know what screw it in this guy's honor whoever he was it began with an a anyway we're going to take down this oblivion gate now oh and hello saxon this seems new this is possibly one I haven't seen before okay so straight ahead that's going to be well surely that's my main destination right over there okay let's just loop around here we can probably just acrobatics my way over to uh, the main tower in a second. Yeah, that's got to be... J oh, okay. Just make sure you don't, you know, jump. There we go, right over here. No trouble there whatsoever. Lovely. And there we go. That just gets me right over here to what I assume is uh, the main thing. So, okay. At this point, my acrobatics just lets me skip the entirety of Oblivion. Lovely. Right, straight up, no problem. I help myself to Great Soul Gem, I won't say no. Grab the Oblivion Ball and on we go. That was for you, Arundel. Arundel, something of that nature anyway. And there we go. The city of Skingrad is safe once again. Oh, that does remind me. Okay, Cinderium. I know I'm going to be disappointed. You know I'm going to be disappointed. Let's just get the disappointment out of the way. You're truly a master explorer. To imagine you've actually acquired 30 more samples, I'm astounded. As I'm sure you guessed, to make the grand version of the Elixir of Exploration will take still more samples of Nernroot. 40 to be exact. Good luck. Oh, and as before, you can pick up your free Elixir in 24 hours. Okay, just out of interest, can you actually... He can die. He doesn't have the crown of a I can't kill him, but... Okay. Just in case the final grand dose of disappointment juice is in fact shockingly not disappointing, 
You get to live for now, but one day, I am going to kill you, you disappointing bastards. I guess it's less disappointing than previously, but still, I think the name Disappointment Juice is very appropriate. That is just... it's just a bit underwhelming all round, really. Ah, yes, now as for the Oblivion Ball. Absorb Endurance, 25 points, which is... okay. I guess, in theory, like, against a tough enemy, maybe I'll put that on a dagger. Just hold on to it for now. Still, this has all worked out by a weird coincidence, which is, uh, yes, now I'm only just around the corner from the Priory. Oh, and this is what I'm supposed to be doing with them. So I can put all the relics right here, including... No, not the boots. I want the boots. The boots are useful, damn it. Although, oh. Okay, only the ones are on me. So, does anyone remember where I put the, um, yeah, chest piece of the Crusader? I really hope it's in Anvil with, like, the mace, because otherwise I don't know where it is. Also, I'm taking the boots, because yes, the boots of Sir Junkin are genuinely rather useful. Okay, who wants to tell me about his shield? And then once we're done with that, who wants to tell me about the disgraced Sir Beric who took the sword and uh, possibly the, yes, Crusader's pants with him when he left? The shield is safeguarded within Fort Bulwark. It is protected, and care must be taken when attempting to find it. Okay, so you already know where it is. Oh, blimey, this is, yeah, well off the beaten track. Way deeper into the middle of nowhere approaching Black Marsh than I have ever been before. So, all right, let's start off at the, yes, the Drunken Dragon Inn, where I killed that guy as part of the special Christmas quest, and, uh, yeah, we'll just... Head in that direction, see what we come across as we go. Okay, you know what? One good thing, this is the nicest the weather gets in Leowin, damn it. You can't hope for a better day than this. So, alright, deep into the swamp, just be ready for anything. Though yeah, just keep an eye out for anything interesting on the go. So, uh, random caves I can do without, but... Okay. One fort dead ahead by the Luxi of it. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Yep, that'll be it right there. Beautiful. So, okay, straight in. No problem whatsoever, though. Okay, can't deny. I do kind of want to enter this fort from above. Oh, yeah, that's the badass way to do this right here. And it would appear to be somewhat occupied. So, okay, just prepare. Right, where are the necromancers or, yes, conjuration people? Someone's occupying this place anyway, so... Okay, they're also summoning. They're definitely summoners. There's... Ooh. Hey, buddy. Why don't you come and investigate what's going on in this bit of the world? You weird Milo Hunter monstrosity. Oh, yeah. I see it. The Milo Hunter is taking out these idiots. Life is sexy and good. You know, it just struck me, I never actually thought to, you know, go and ask them whether they might be, you know, agents of uh, the Knights of the Nine who are just taking their uh, business very seriously and just, you know, guarding the uh, shield. But, uh, okay, I really hope not because I did just set a Milo Hunter on them. In we go, nice and calm, nice and careful, just try to avoid trouble if at all possible. Right, activate scouting. Well, there's someone over there. That looks like, yes, possibly a Storm Atronach over here. So, okay. There's definitely bad things going on here. But it is dark. Dark is... Dark is good. Well, fairly dark anyway. Okay, hang about. Where am I trying to get to? Looks like it's off to... The right somewhere, yeah. Off to the right. Okay. Let's see if maybe, just maybe, a combination of uh, sneaking and etc. could get me where I... Oh, dear. Right round the back of... Can't go that way. Could go this way and... Okay. That wasn't entirely what I thought was going to happen, but on the other hand, 
Okay, you just, like, wander off in that direction, if you'd be so kind. But, 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 John, we know what it's time for. It's time for Boing Gear. Okay, cast everything, then just, oh, can I, can I fit through? I can... There we go. Straight up top. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. This gate is activated elsewhere. I mean, could I just maybe get up to that balcony from here if I put on... I might be able to, you know. If I get this angle just right, I think I might be able to. Oh, flip me, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is going to lower the drawbridges and open the ah oh, yes 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 acro oh. don't trust this okay there was definitely a rumble right there so okay that gets me to is that the room which had the storm abstract okay you know what do it again just had to oh this isn't a trap. This is a puzzle. Okay. That's the noise. So one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, something. One. One, two, three, one. Okay, there we go. So I've just bypassed all this. Screw you, you stupid losers. Oh, but blimey, we've got a lot to do yet. Please. Set me free. Oh, we've got a person. Hello. Who are you precisely? Okay, over it is. I can't speak to him. Welcome to the team. I'm putting together a team of knights. Would you like to be one by any chance? Thank you for rescuing me. I've lost track of how long they've held me here. Okay, so... Oh, he's literally already called Sir Fedret. Now, that is a good knight name. By any chance, were you supposed to be guarding the bloody shield, but then some bloody conjurers showed up and tossed you in a cell? I've been held prisoner by these scoundrels for the longest time. They want to know how to reach the shield, and believed I would help them. When I refused, they locked me here, and only let me out to torture me. They got nothing from me. Okay, so that's fine, but I need to know, one, where's the shield, and two, how do I get the shield? I can't go with you if that's what you mean. I'm too weak. I need to rest. Once I have my strength, I will certainly join your cause. You'll have to go on alone, but the knowledge I've gained may be of use to you. Okay, here we flip and go. Before finding this place, I learned a bit about those who created it. It's designed to keep the shield hidden and safe. A phrase kept coming up in the writings I found. When the eyes of the Guardians are upon you, Julianos will show you favor. I'm not sure how, but I just know it's a clue for making it safely through these ruins. You're the only one I've told. I hope it helps you. Okay. Eyes of the Guardians... Favor of Julianos. Okay. Not 100% sure what that means, but okay. I see you there. But, okay, hang on. This place is complicated by the Luxy of it. Still, I should be able to, yes, yeah, stay pretty well hidden if I just stay out the way. There's someone over there. There's you here. You would 100%. Oh, hang on. Gone over there now. Bloody hell. Okay, just wait for him to walk back to that spot over there. Then we should be able to just sneak straight past you. Use the third person camera. It's all going to be a okay. Naff off. Back to your little living area, please. I need to go this way. And. No, not there. Okay. More over in that direction. Here we go. Straight forward. Through, open the door, in, shut door behind me. Anytime you're bloody ready, doors are very, very slow to open and close. And there we go, straight past you, no trouble. All right, put all of my thieves training to the test here. 
Oh, and also, yes, it would have been easier rather than going this way. That was a complete waste of time. If I'd have just gone straight on, I could have gone straight behind you. And okay, brilliant. Okay, it's time for some people to start dying. So just pop a surprise arrow in you. Then just stand back, wait, and let the problems... I feel like I just caused a more general alert than I was expecting to, of course. Okay, this this hasn't gone entirely to plan, actually, because she immediately summoned her friend. But that's fine. Got this guy blocking up the door. Let's just start heading in this direction. While he's keeping them busy, I will make my... In fact, hang on, John. John, 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 John. Don't make your... Oh, bloody hell, I'm being very shot. Don't put the... Just banged my head on a... Okay, just continue distracting for one second, please. Just for one second. All right, I'm almost through this area. So if I go to here. Okay, that one we can do. Then we just need a tiny, tiny bit of healing. This is going to work out. She can't follow me if I don't put down the bridge, which I don't need to because, once again, very good at jumping. So put down... This bridge, not the other one. And now we are through. And they cannot follow. Beautiful. Oh, and I think we've made it. Because that looks to me like, say, the eyes of the Guardian. Okay. That'll be the eyes of the Guardian right there. Just... You know what? Poison. Use poison more often. Poison is good. Here we go, one poison for you. Tiny bit more damage as well, if you'd be so kind. That was you. The poison should hopefully finish. There we go. Oh, that's you. Oh, you've realized I'm here, I see. No, 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 no trouble. No trouble, by which I mean Mr. Bitey handles the trouble. Okay, so that's fine. You just do whatever you want over there. You go down. Beautiful. Okay, take him out once time, rush him. With the mace, to be honest, that's not a bad idea. So, okay. Eyes of the Guardian. I'm supposed to be going over here. Eyes of the Guardian, favor of Julianos. Now, okay, Julianos in particular is the god of... Is he justice? I think he might be justice, but it kind of doesn't matter. The point is, in many ways, he's one of the nine. So, he's on the side of the Crusaders. Okay, so... Alright, let's see if we can figure this out here. Mysterious thing. Stand on the thing. Nothing happens. Okay. Turn the handle. Presumably, make this guy turn to face me. Right? Okay, flick them all round to vertical. Again, nothing happens. Okay. Once more... Okay, what's the trick here? What have I missed? Okay, I've just spent the last 10 minutes or so just trying every possible orientation of these handles, etc, etc. And then ultimately went to check and discovered uh, this is just a known bug. Sometimes the statues uh, refuse to bloody turn. So, okay, I'm just going to try turning the game off and on again. And now the statues are turning. There we go. Right. Good. Good, good, good. Just a bug and nothing to worry about. All right. Deeper underground. They hadn't solved that puzzle, suggesting, yes, now it's going to be... Oh. Now it's going to be whatever guardians were actually left here by uh, the original nine. So, okay. Oh, this feels like a boss arena. Okay. Statues. All turning away, may or may not be bugged, uh, who bloody knows. So just here, pressure plate right here. Nothing in the chest, and this is blocked up too. Okay. Try this. Empty. Empty. They're all empty by the Luke of it. Oh, except it's... it's not empty. It said empty, but it's not. There's hang the cock on. Crack these open. Okay, hang on. That one definitely... Wait, what? What's... What's happening? 
I feel like this entire area might be slightly bugging out because that felt like that was not supposed to to happen. Okay. Take the skull. Okay, put put the skull in here. Possibly it was just being indicated. Hang about, where's the skull? Yeah. Pop the skull in there. What on earth is going on? That makes Roger's gem appear. Okay. So, oh. Okay. So this chest is just generating things. And we're just swapping them around. Okay, hang on. I'm not sure this is a bug. I think this is supposed to be happening. It's deeply confusing. But it is supposed to be happening. And now Roger's skull is back. Except, hang on. I'm pretty sure I now know where Roger's skull actually wants to go. There was a skull right here. So, the symbol over there that's highlighted, that's the hat. There we go. So, okay. When I pick something up, it shows me a solution. But not necessarily the right one. Roger's jam. That was over here. Okay. This place is very confusing and odd, but I think I get the principle. So there we go. Now two eliminated. And oh, something was just highlighted over there, but I don't know what it is. That gets me Roger's stone. I know where that goes, though. Keep an eye out for the... I missed the hint, but it's fine, and we now know roughly what's going where. It's gonna be fine. And once again, a big old flash of a magical light. On a wee flipping go. Who was Rockgar, by the way? Oh, was that the guy who gave me the mission? No, that was Henrik. Who was Roger in that case? So, okay, don't worry about it. It's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. There we flipping go. A whole bunch of things and, ooh, potentially good potions. And, John, don't take the bloody bowl. You don't need the bowl. Most important is, uh, yes, Shield of the Crusader. Let's get the flip out of Dodge. Okay, so not so much Sue Tony Silent Assassin, but I will never say a bad word against any dungeon that allows me to completely break it by being sufficiently good at jumping. Oh, and as for the shield itself, you know what? That's not bad, but once again, it's just nowhere near as good as... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. So, the Reflect spell is a fair bit less than Spellbreaker, but it is light, it weighs 12 less, and it's actually got more armor than Spellbreaker does. Sir Knight, thank RK you are back. I have terrible news. Sir Roderick, I think he's dead. Okay, um, who's Sir Roderick, precisely? Because... I kind of thought the knights were already dead, they were ghosts, or is Sir Roderick one of you? Because if so, I have no idea which one of you's which. I've kind of just been rubber stamping anybody who wants to join the knightly order. Gonna be honest with ya. A holy knight, like you, questing for the relics at the prophet's call. I was his squire. I believed he was chosen by the gods to reclaim the relics. Okay. And I'm guessing actually he wasn't, because I was, because I'm the protagonist. At first things were going well. He prayed at all the shrines and received a vision, a disturbing vision. The shade of Sir Beric spoke to me was all he said. We must put him to rest. We traveled back and forth across Colovia. He was always asking about an old noble family, the Vlindrils. Finally, he found what he was looking for. We went to Underpaul Cave, and there he fell. Okay, so, yes, Beric, that's precisely the lad we need, because that's the lad who took two of the things with him. He said that Sir Beric's tomb was in Underpaul Cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. He had learned that Sir Beric had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the Crusader, but then turned to evil. Sir Roderick hoped to find the relics within Sir Beric's tomb, 
and he did. But we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindral, Sir Beric. Okay, this is a very dramatic retelling, though a bit unfair to Sir Beric. Like, according to the book I read, uh, there was a civil war, some knights joined one side, uh, some joined the other. Let's not bring good and evil into this, alright? That's not bloody helpful. Just put this cave on my map and I'll go and check it out, alright? Yes, my lady. And I brought you, Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them, the Greaves, the Holy Relic, they're yours. Oh, okay, so you just had the pants on you. Also, wait, you're... you're Lathon. Who is Lathon? I kind of assumed that was the guy who I just met down in the dungeon, hence why he was speaking to me now, but... Did I recruit you? I've no idea who you are. What happened to the sword, by the way? The Wraith. It used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the holy weapon, but it did. It screamed as it struck. Okay, so, right, I'm guessing this is like an ultimate mega lich or something. I'm sorry. I've already failed Sir Roderick once. I don't want to fail him again. I remember he said something about the sword before we... He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil that it may have to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. So, yes indeed, I'm guessing the sword's gonna be a lot more complicated than what we've seen so far. Still, I get the pants for free, that's nice. Give me a moment to arm myself, and I will accompany you to Underpaul Cave to destroy the foul wraith. You know what? That's fine. He can come along okay, too. So I enjoy I... someone who is this bloody dramatic. Also, hang on a cocking minute. It's a Rodar. Oh, buddy. Welcome to the bloody Priory. I genuinely thought you'd just been murdered by one of the Mr. Bites out there. Oh, it is so bloody nice to see you, you magnificent bastards. And as for the pants of the Crusader, okay, restoration once again, but destruction on this occasion. You know what? That's not actually that bad all things considered. Though I think I will stick with it, yes, my existing trousers are given, oh yeah, never say no to speed. If you destroy the wraith that Sir Beric has become, you will be doing him a service. You must free him from the evil that has ensnared him. Okay, I do not trust any of these guys in terms of reliable narration. Alright, a lot of people tossing around the word evil using an evil tone when they're describing Sir Beric. But as I say, the book I found just said, hey, they split in two. Some join one side, some join the other. Alright, if he was so bloody demonstrably evil, why did several other knights walk out with him? Alright, I don't trust you one little bit, Sir Amiel. Okay. It might be the sword and that's it. We're done. Though I wanted to, yes, travel around my various properties in Cyrodiil, trying to uh, hoover up the various bits I dumped in one place or another. So there we go. There's our destination on the orange road between Bruma and Coral. And yeah, I've walked this road before. Nothing too much between me and there. So, uh, right. Me and Sir Hangabout. Sir Lathan. Excellent. He's... Sir Lathan. That's... Sir Lathan, is that your horse? Sir Lathan, did you just... Sir Lathan, put that horse back. Sir Lathan, this is not fitting for a Knight of the Nine. We do not just steal cocking horses. Sir Lathan, put that horse back. Right the cock now. These are not our horses. Sir Lathan has to stay here in timeout until he learns his lesson. Sir Lathan is not allowed to come with me until he puts the horse back. Still, I'd say that's enough for now because it feels like we are actually getting... A Pretty bloody near to the end of Knights of the Nine here. Just one sword yet to be acquired, though, yes, feels like that last one might be a little bit more complicated than the others, given this talk of, uh, yes, having to re-sanctify the sword. However, that works precisely. So, the conclusion of Knights of the Nine coming up soon. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves. I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out. Die, you mooing bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.